So, student this is lecture 2 and in this lecture we are going to discuss about the types of signals and a little bit about the cellular infrastructure. Okay. So, starting with the types of signal, आप लोगों ने जब signal system subject पढ़ा होगा तो इस के बारे में बहुत सारा सीखा भी होगा ओके सो हम एक क्विक रिव्यू करेंगे टाइप्स ऑफ सिग्नल्स का और बेसिकली फोकस करेंगे जो सिग्नल्स हम यूज करने वाले हैं इन दिस सब्जेक्ट ओके वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम सो स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द टाइप्स ऑफ सिग्नल इफ आई वांट टू टेल यू देयर आर मेजरली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सिग्नल्स ओके फर्स्ट वन इज द योर एनालॉग सिग्नल्स or sometimes continuous signals after that discrete signal and the last one is the digital signals so here as the name is suggesting continuous signal okay so the signal those who are continuous with time okay so for example if you are guys having this signal let's see you guys are having this signal okay and you can see this is let's see this signal is starting from x equal to 0 to t equal to t1 okay at this situation Okay, so now between zero to T one, okay, you can choose any value of T, and for every T, you are getting one amplitude. Okay, so let's see, this is the function of let's see x T. So you are getting one value of x T. Okay, in terms of amplitude. Okay, so for example, if you are taking the points over here okay you are interested these times these times means these value okay let's see this is t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 and this ko hum करेक्ट कर देते हैं टी सेवन लेक्चर ओके सो फॉर एवरी टाइम ओके सपोज यू आर इंटरेस्टेड एट टी वन टाइम टी टू टाइम टी थ्री टाइम सो यू आर गेटिंग दिस एम्पलीट्यूड ओवर हेयर द वैल्यू ऑफ द सिग्नल यू आर गेटिंग ओवर हेयर ओके so for every value we are getting some value of amplitude over here so this type of signal is called the continuous time signal or analog signal if they are continuous with time now suppose if you are interested in only particular samples values okay let's see i am interested only t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 t7 values and other t values i am not interested तो आप क्या करेंगे इफ आई एम इंटरेस्टेड ओनली दीज वैल्यूज सो यू कैन रिमूव द अदर वैल्यूज ओनली फोकस ऑन दीज वैल्यूज बिकॉज आई एम इंटरेस्टेड ओनली दीज वैल्यूज ओके सो दिस टाइप ऑफ सिग्नल इज कॉल्ड द डिस्क्रीट सिग्नल्स okay so when you do the sampling of the any continuous signal you will get the discrete signal okay now if i talk about this digital signal digital signals means when right now for discrete signal i discretize the x axis and suppose now i am also discretizing this x the sorry y axis okay so in that case the signal received that will be in the form of the 
distal signal ok. So, after sampling you are doing the quantization ok, quantization nothing else the we are further quantizing the y axis ok. So, let us see you are deciding this L 1 level, L 2 level, L 3 level, L 4 level, L 5 level. So, when you do this quantization you will get the distal signal ok. The process uh, all of you know ok that how we will get this distal signal ok from the your analog signal. So, I am not going to how we are getting, but this is the form of means when your signal is representing into 0 and 1. Okay. So, that will be your distal signal. Now, if I talk about the your wireless communication, okay. in wireless communication we use the both the signal, okay. analog signal and distal signal, because most of the cases we know they are all the your uh, generalized signals, okay. jo jahan se signal generate ho raha hai, they are the in the analog form. Okay. Now, when we want to transmit this signal, we do the or we use the some converter okay, from analog to digital converter okay, for sending the data at the receiver side, we do the just suppose it by converting this digital data into analog data. So, we use the converters for processing our data. Okay. Now, further कुछ और भी सिग्नल्स हैं जो हमारे फर्दर इनको ही कैरेक्टराइज किया गया लाइफ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द इवन एंड ऑड सिग्नल सो ऑल ऑफ यू नो लर्न अबाउट दिस इवन एंड ऑड ओके पावर एंड एनर्जी सिग्नल ओके कॉजल एंड नॉन कॉजल सिग्नल ok stable and unstable uh, signals. So, these are the linear and non-linear signals. So, these are the some examples of your signals and further you can add the mathematical function with the help of mathematical function you define the some common signal like unit impulse sig unit signal, unit step signal, impulse signal, ramp signal, exponential function. So, these are the uh, small introduction about the your signal. Now, we will talk about the important point ok that is your cellular infrastructure ok. So, when we do the uh, when we cover the background of uh, wireless communication as we uh, have seen in the full lecture for one ok. So, wahan pe dekha humne bahut sare radio systems aaye ok time to time aur jin mein dheere dheere humne advancement kiya. So, cellular jo telephone system aaya wo bahut jyada popular hua ok because of the some important functionality was available over there ok like uh, if I want to tell you that uh, the frequency reuse concept was there ok. Some strategies some techniques for reducing uh, for increasing the or you can say optimization of your channel uh, assignment techniques available in the cellular concept ok. So, the cellular jo system tha amara, ok. उस सेलुलर सिस्टम में अगर हम बात करें तो अगर हम उसकी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की बात करें तो बेसिकली जो हमारा एरिया होता था कवरेज एरिया दैट वाज डिवाइडेड इनटू सेक्टर्स ओके एंड दी सेक्टर्स फर्दरली डिवाइडेड इनटू सेल्स ओके सो जो सेल थे वो हेक्सागोनल शेप के हम सेल्स यूज करते थे और हर एक सेल के पास एक हमारा BTS होता था, बेस ट्रांसमिशन रिसीवर, ओके, सो जो इसका जियोग्राफिकल एरिया था, अगर सेलुलर सिस्टम की हम बात करें, 
तो उसमें लार्ज नंबर ऑफ जो हमारे होते थे यूजर्स वी कैन अकोमोडेट इन अ सिंगल सेल ओके विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस योर फ्रीक्वेंसी रियूज कॉन्सेप्ट सो दिस सेलुलर रेडियो सिस्टम प्रोवाइड हाई क्वालिटी सर्विस दैट इज ऑफन कंपरेबल टू दैट द लैंडलाइन टेलीफोन सिस्टम ओके दैट्स वाई वी ओवरकम दिस लैंडलाइन टेलीफोन सिस्टम एंड मूव टूवर्स टू दिस सेलुलर टेलीफोन सिस्टम इन दिस सेलुलर सिस्टम द हाई कैपेसिटी इज अचीव बाई लिमिटिंग द कवरेज ऑफ ईच बेस स्टेशन ट्रांसमीटर टू अ स्मॉल जियोग्राफिकल एरिया कॉल्ड दिस अ सेल okay so overall as suppose this is the over area so let's see this is in this we have a uh, different different cells over here okay so now we will see the all the details when we will th go through the third lecture how this cellular system works okay so in cellular first uh, infrastructure there are cells sector okay and uh, there is mobile station okay base station or base transmitter receiver bts msc mobile switching center pstn public service telephone networks okay so these are the you can say these are also the cellular components okay which are available in any cellular system okay and obviously antennas okay so there are some advantages of using this cellular telephone system okay that was the you can say frequency reuse over here proper hand off channel assignment strategies how you can increase the capacity of users in a particular cell so these are the some advantages are available in the cellular telephone system so we decided to move forward this uh, cellular telephone system and by time to time we did some advancement technology in this cellular co concept okay so you go through the second generation third generation fourth generation five generation all the generation are based on this cellular concept okay so this is all about your second lecture in third lecture we are going to discuss about this cellular concept what is basic uh, what is the basic architecture of this cellular concept